Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. In the latter part of the last century, outdoor malls in Oregon began to gain popularity. I've always found this California campus setup to be questionable in a state as wet and damp as Oregon. But the outdoor entrance setup has taken off well, and in most cases appears to have outperformed most indoor mall arrangements in that time. This place, the Straits of Tannisborn, appears to have struggled in keeping up that trend. The place first opened in 2004. Mount Frank was its wood anchor store. However, it was shortly after bought up and in 2006 changed to Macy's. Now, now the place is owned by the Continental Real Estate. Very high monthly rent for shop space here. Indeed, despite its short span of history thus far, it has managed an incredibly high turnover rate for tenants.
Now very few original owners remain. The anchor store changed names, so you can't count that place. Maybe the Gap. P.F. Chang's, well that's a separate building on there in the uh, parking lot. Chipotle is across the street, but again, that's across the street. Different building. crafters but I think part of that used to be a Verizon store could be wrong about that
Oh yeah, that's big enough to be them there anchor store. Honestly, and it didn't change hands, so there you go. I believe used to partly be a haircut replace. Plain Brian. Because chicks with big chests need someplace good to shop. Everything else, I think just about everything else, has changed hands at least once. Maybe not the Victoria's Secret, but like, uh, Hot Topic's gone, Coney's gone. Little cool copper shop here at the entrance by the uh, fountain's gone. Been gone for a long time, actually. What else is gone? Got the, uh, got the tuxedo place gone. The, the, the big problem with this place was that it opened up with 56 stores and like all of them were clothing stores. Jimboree's gone. That was like the one place maybe a kid wouldn't mind hanging out. There's nothing here for dudes to do but hit up the bars and the uh, the restaurants in the area. You got the Thirsty Lion, he got the uh, the wood stove, whatever pizza, and he got the P.F. Chang's, and the bars are all pretty popular. Because there's nothing else for dudes to do here, except the REI, but I mean, you can't be hanging out in the REI constantly, they look at you funny. Anywho, it's a place for clothing. That's about it. I understand there's supposed to be some Mac store in here. But God, I don't, you know, I don't even know where it would be. Probably. The store directory might help. In, in fact, when I look it up online, I, I, I do believe there might be some, some shop space with the apartments over there, for the condos. Because you look this place up online, 
Seems to be a whole lot of hairstylists setting up like it's their own shop. And I know it's just one little place to sit with a mirror and some scissors and stuff. Maybe a comb or two and some hair styling product. The rest of it's just this building so you can see. And that's about it.
Thank you.